in this video, video 18 of 40, we're going to be talking about what have you put into the atmosphere? What have you put in the atmosphere? Yes. Unleashing the power of God in your life by the book Commanding Your Morning by Dr. Sydney Trim. Hey, y'all. Hey, how you doing? It's Renitra Thomas, better known as Tweet. And I'm the host and founder of this awesome group, Next Level Faith Call. And this is our book club. Yes. So the first book club went so well. We decided to do it times two. So here it is, the actual summer of 2019. And we're reading a book every night at 830 Eastern Standard Time. Showing up for 40 days. Today is day 18 of 40. And the reason that we show up. It is to help take our prayer lives to the next level. Really, prayer changes things. And this book is about unleashing the power of God in your life. Yes. Welcome tonight to the live broadcast. Meth Pro from the Queen City. Welcome tonight. Hey, Mama Charlotte. Welcome to the live broadcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for hashtagging my purpose driven faith. And you know, that's our movement here in the book club. Part one, when we were doing the Purpose Driven Life for 42 days, can y'all believe it? It was 42 days of my Purpose Driven Faith. So here it is, day 18. We have 22 more days left in this book club. And um, tomorrow starts something very special. I'm excited. So make sure you stick around towards the end of the broadcast so that I can share with you our great news. We have a challenge inside of the book club. And so I kind of mentioned it a little bit last night and showed you a little bit about it on social media, but I'm really going to go into it this evening. So make sure you stick around towards the end of the broadcast so you can find out more about the 21 day challenge of speaking out your blessings. Welcome tonight. Hey, Miss Rashonda from the Queen City. Yeah, uh, no, Rashonda, you from Los Angeles, California. Welcome tonight. <laughs> This is day 18 and this is our book club. We have 18 more days left, y'all. So we're going to be talking about tonight. What have you put into the atmosphere? So I want you to know why this book is so important to me and why I'm fired up. OK, I be wired all day thinking about 830 Eastern Standard Time being here on this book club with you talking about this book, commanding your morning because this book has changed my life. OK. There was a point in my life when I felt stuck and I was struggling and really captive. Just didn't feel that I was free. You know, I was living in my purpose, living in my destiny. I had a good job. You know, I was on my job for 16 years and I was four years from retiring. When I heard the voice of the Lord speak to me within and say that it's time to stay home and raise your children. And even now, when I hear it back, play back in my mind, it sounds crazy, right? You know, um, I'm leaving everything I knew to start something I've never done before. But I just kind of felt like I could do, which was stay home and raise my children and operate a business along the way from home. OK, so. I was at the right place at the right time watching Sid Roth, a broadcast on TV like many of you are watching now. You're at the right place at the right time watching a broadcast. This just so happens to be live because we're here together. Or, you know, you may have been watching a, re a replay like I was, but I was watching Sid Roth and um, he has Sidney Trim on his show. Sid Roth, it's called It's Supernatural. And if you've never watched Sid Roth, I highly recommend that you watch it because for those of us who are prayer warriors, oftentimes we see things in the spiritual realm, but we can't explain it with our, 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 our mouth and we can't really explain it with our words. But um, Sid has a way of capturing what happens in the supernatural realm and displaying it to the natural, to the public. So I was watching his show one day. And um, he had Sydney Trim on there and she looked like me, y'all, and she talked like me. And that was already different because Sid Roth, he's a Jewish man, but he is loves Jesus Christ. And he's always trying to uh, his ministry is um, making the gospel known to everyone all over the world, no matter who you are, or where you've come from. So he had this woman on here who was like me and she was talking about. You know, her belief that families could be healed and 
um, poverty, you know, could be reversed into wealth. And she believed that um, in miracles, you know, and she was talking about these activation declarations and I was like, I got to get these activation declarations, whatever this woman is talking about in this book. I got to get it because um, she was just talking some things I had never heard before, like, you know, being able to command your morning and being able to have favor with your creditors and being able to gain new territories of not just finances, but intellectual territories and um, new business territories. So I had to find out what was going on. So I ordered the book. The book came with a CD. I listened to that CD, y'all. If it had been a tape player, I would have broke the cassette. Because <laughs> I listened to that CD, CD over and over and over and over again. And to those words became my own. So I want you all to be encouraged because I'm going to actually be saying the same declaration that Sydney Trim said in that broadcast that day. It was almost, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago for me. But this book is so important and it helped set me free. I'm telling y'all, like I didn't know anything else but the work that I was doing. Like I had no college degree and I had the faith and the courage to believe in myself. And the words that I was speaking really were showing up as evidence in my life. Interest in dividends, checks in the mail, unexpected financial blessing, multi-million dollar ideas, inventions and strategies. So we're going to be sharing that tonight towards the end of the broadcast. Um, but I want you to be encouraged tonight because the words, the activation declarations in this book really do have an anointing on them. And I don't know what God has called you to do or, you know, where he's positioning you in this next season. But um, it, if you're here with us, it has to be something great. Um, it has to be something greater than you could have ever imagined. And, you know, you we had to be together in order for, you know, whatever this next thing is God has for you to manifest. So I'm so excited we could grow together, activate, you know, unleashing the power of God in our lives. A lot of us have ministries. A lot of us have businesses. A lot of us are concerned about our families. A lot of us are concerned about our communities or, you know, a lot of us are concerned, concerned about our health. There are different things that we're all um, concerned about. And God has given us authority over those things we're concerned about. So I'm excited tonight and I pray that you are too. Welcome tonight. Hey, Miss Tina. Miss Tina says hey to everyone. Hey, Mama Charlotte from um, Cottageville, South Carolina. Welcome tonight. Miss Tina from Knightsdale, North Carolina. Welcome tonight. Yes, miracles really do happen, Mama Charlotte. Welcome everyone. I'm so excited. We're all here together. So we're getting ready, y'all, to read um, the purpose. We're getting ready to read whatever you put into the atmosphere. I'm reading the, the comments because um, oftentimes in the replay, you can't see what others are commenting, especially with this going to YouTube. Now, how do y'all like our YouTube channel and all of the different advertisers? Let me tell y'all. Please pray for me because I am attracting the right people to work with me and for me. And together we're all working as unto the Lord. So I pray that, you know, my marketing is impressive enough to, you know, impress upon the right clients, to impress upon um, the right customers, you know, paying customers. Um, I, I want to impress upon the right people who value what I have to offer. So y'all pray for me in Jesus name. Yes. Thank you. I, I appreciate all the support tonight. I love y'all. All right, so let's get started. We're starting in a new chapter tonight, chapter four. For those who are following along with us in the book. And be encouraged in your feedback as always. As I read for the next 10 minutes or so about what have you put into the atmosphere. And after we read uh, the topic of the day, we're going to flip back to the back of the book and the activation declarations. And we're going to put it into practice. And tonight I'm going to go a little bit slower like I did last night so you can really get the gist of these activation declarations. And I actually have an offer. If you're interested in purchasing the offer, it will go hand in hand with this, the um, activation declarations that we're speaking. Um, I've got something I've put together that God has placed on my heart. And I pray that it blesses you exceedingly. So let's get started tonight in reading. What have you put into the atmosphere? Welcome, everyone. Sit back and relax. Get your pen and paper out. 
or just get you some water and listen to the, the smooth sounds of Renitra as I read to you whatever you put in the atmosphere in our book club. All right. What have you put into the atmosphere? I am the sum total of what I have been confessing through the years. And that's a quote by Joel Osteen. So words released into the atmosphere do not disappear or dissipate. They have no geographical limitations. Words have power, pres presence, and prophetic implications. They carry a um, magnetic force that pulls the manifestation of what you speak, good or bad, blessings or curses from other realms, other dimensions, other regions, and they are suspended and incubated in the realm of the spirit awaiting the correct time and the optimum condition for manifestation. Did y'all get that? Ha. These words that we speak, if they don't happen right then and there, they happen at the right place, at the right conditions of those words that you speak. So you got to be very careful about what you have put into the atmosphere. But there's hope. Let's continue to read tonight on day 18. So God has spoken good things over the people of Israel and promised to give them the land of Canaan for their inheritance. However, they trusted more in their own fears than in God. They trusted more in the comfort of slavery than in the hope of living as kings and priests. Though God had promised them their own land, they undid his promises, not only by their lack of faith, but also by the words they spoke. In fact, while they were camping on the bank of Jordan, looking into Canaan um, with their knees knocking in cowardice, these Canaans were looking um, on their own. Forty years later, when Joshua and Caleb returned to the new generation of the Israelites to collect on God's promise for them. Yes. Ha. I love it. I absolutely love it. So while the Israelites were calling um, in the, 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 Can the Canaan's giants, while they were calling them giants, the heart of these giants were melting in the fear of the Israelites. So um, while the Israelites were calling the Canaan's giants, the giants were actually scared of the Israelites. Hallelujah. Isn't that something? So instead of listening to Joshua and Caleb, um, while words were filling the atmosphere with faith, they chose to stick all their hopes in surroundings and listening to what God had spoke. Hallelujah. So even though they were acting on um, God's words to them, they fill the atmosphere with their own fear and defeat rather than victory and faith. You know, they received not only what was according to God's promises, but they receive what they filled the atmosphere with. Hallelujah. They steered their lives into a port of fear and failure. They dropped the anchor there. How many of us have dropped the anchor in, in, fair, in, in, in fear and failure? You know, when things got tough, it, the, the, the weather got hard, you know, the storms, and the thundering and the lightning got scary. And, and somehow we got stuck there. You know, we put those things into the atmosphere. But glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, we have faith today. And it is the love of Jesus Christ that's setting us free. Hallelujah. So come into agreement. We're wrapping up now. As we find out, you know, those words that we put into the atmosphere, how we can um, overcome them in Jesus name. So listen about this. Come into agreement with what God has already said in his word about your situation. You have to get it in God's word. Hallelujah. Then fill your atmosphere with his promises no matter what. Yes. So that is how you overcome what you have put into the atmosphere, no matter what 
you come into agreement with what God has already said about your situation. Hallelujah. You need healing. Speak scriptures on healing. You need increase in finances or increase in whatever you speak scriptures on increase. You need God to be a, a fence. You need him to take revenge. You need him to fight for you. Well, you read those scriptures of, of warfare. You know, whatever your need is, it's in the word of God. Come into agreement with what God has already said about your situation. And um, you have to stand on God's word. Then fill your atmosphere, things that you say in your mouth about God's promises on your situation, no matter what. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. What y'all think about that powerful word tonight? Oh, we about to put it into practice. So I have included a list of activation declarations that you can use during your time of prayer. This is not meant to become a binding religious practice or a ritual, but it's meant to be a guideline and a framework to help launch you into practice of commanding your morning. So as you speak out these declarations, do so boldly, but prayerfully ask the Holy Spirit to guide your words and um, ask him to guide your situation. Hallelujah. For every reader's situation is unique and different and only you know what your specific needs are. So this is a guide to help you understand what is possible and to help you get started. So as you step out in faith, the Holy Spirit will lead you into other areas of your life. He wants you to exercise your authority over. So as you read these declarations, don't merely read them, but you speak them aloud in faith and authority and power because you have it. And remember that you're partnering with God to activate his perfect will in your life. Hallelujah. So you're co-laboring with Christ on your behalf as well as on the behalf of others. So who are you praying for tonight? I just love it. So let today be the unveiling of a fresh anointing in your life. Let today be the day that you apprehend the power God has allotted for you. Make the activation declarations a vivid part of your prayer routine and watch God turn things around for you. You're on your way to kingdom living and success. Hallelujah. The activation declarations. Praise God. I'm going to anoint myself with oil. Remember, the olive oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, we're entering in the spirit realm now in Jesus name. Let us pray. Hallelujah. As we activate the anointing on the activation declarations. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you and we praise you. God, we thank you so much for this day in which you have made. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to rejoice, God, and be glad about today. You've done it. You're doing it. God, you're doing great things. Father, we're praying for everyone watching this broadcast tonight. Those who had intentions to be here, God, we're praying for them too. Father, we're praying for everyone listening to the broadcast tonight and their circle of influence, God. Hallelujah. Increase and enlarge our territory. Father, first we repent for our sins known and unknown. And God, we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ, washing us, purging us, making our hearts whiter than snow. Father, as we walk by faith and not by sight, God, we pray your will be done over these activation declarations, God. Hallelujah, God, we're praying for hope to come back into homes and for marriages to be healed. And God, we're praying for debts to be canceled. Hallelujah, God, we pray that you show up and set the captive free. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, we honor you for it is in Jesus name we pray even for our unspoken request. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. I stand to command my morning and decree it is a new day. I take authority over my day now in the name of Jesus. Every element of my day is cooperating with purpose and destiny. Hallelujah. Today is the birthing of a new day. The season of frustration and failures, they're over. Today, I'll walk into a season of success and prosperity. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Today, I press towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Anything or anyone assigned to frustrate, hinder, hurt, 
or um, try to divide me, I command you to go now in Jesus' name, for I am more than a conqueror. I command my day to fully cooperate with your original plan and purpose for today. I greet today with the great anticipation, yes, of all of the good things, God, you have in store for me. I decree and declare that a new day is birthing for my ministry. I decree and declare that a new day is birthing for my job, for my business. I decree and declare that a new day is birthing for my finances. Yes, for my relationships. I decree and declare that a new day is birthing for my health, my community. Hallelujah. My healing in Jesus name. I now download success, prosperity, health, wealth, vision, direction, ingenuity, creativity, spirituality, holiness, righteousness, peace, your abundance of resources from your spirit into my day. I have a fresh excitement. I have a fresh renewed mind. I have a fresh zeal, the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. I even have a fresh anointing and this anointing that is fresh on my life. It is uncontaminated. It is uncompromised. By this anointing, every yoke is broken and destroyed off of my life. Every burden is now lifted. Woo, yes, I feel light. God, you said your yoke is easy and your burden is light. All oh, powerful God. Welcome into my life. Welcome into my heart, God. Hallelujah. You're welcome in this place. Show up and show out. Place your anointing upon me now. The anointing that is on my life repels every individual with a diabolical assignment. Let the anointing flow uncontaminated and uncompromised. Father, cause me to hear your loving kindness this morning, for I do put my trust in you. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. Teach me your will, for you are my God and your spirit is so good. Lead me along the path of uprighteousness for your name's sake. Synchronize my life with your perfect will, your agenda, and your calendar. Superimpose your will over the will of evil spirits and evil men. Empower me to serve you in holiness and in righteousness. Grant me divine kingdom asylum and diplomatic immunity from evil that seeks to imprison and entrap me. <laughs> Since my times are in your hands, you will deliver me from the hands of the enemy and from those who try to prosecute me. This man of evil powers working to frustrate my day, my assignments and my activities. Twat the arrow shot towards me by day ha, and calls night terrors to cease ha, rescue me from my enemies oh god for i hide myself in you calls the east winds of judgment to blow into the enemy's camp stop the diabolical cyclones and the demonic winds designed to bring shipwreck and disaster into my life calls divine fresh winds of the holy spirit to blow let the west winds of replenishment and the north winds of abundance and the south winds of restoration and supernatural supply blow profusely on my territory now, on my increased territory in Jesus' name. Assign angels as my divine escorts and as my supernatural security and let them marshal the boundaries and the borders of my spheres of influence and um, let them dismantle and destroy satanic strongholds and um, dispossess satanic squatters and close up the gates of death and seal up the doors of affliction and torment and cause divine gates of access of new opportunity hallelujah to be welcomed in my life calls windows of divine inspiration and insight and revelation hallelujah to be welcomed into my life uh, calls paths of righteousness and avenues of success and prosperity and even multiple streams of income with positive cash flow to be welcomed into my life even now as we speak even highways of places of divine assignments and prosperity and channels of transitions and deliverance God, teach me your way. I want to learn so that I can learn how to conduct my affairs in the most discerning and expeditious and wise manner. 
God, open my eyes to cutting edge technologies and methodologies and strategies and tactics that would aid me in doing your will. Father, allow only those with divine assignments to be drawn to me today. Let your Holy Spirit and his wisdom and his understanding and his counsel and his might and his um, knowledge and even the fear of the Lord and the prophetic insight be upon me now. Yes, <laughs> grant me the ability to hear from you clearly as you give me insight, witty ideas and um, creative inventions. Open my eyes, God, and let uh, my eyes function with 2020 vision for the correct insight, um, for the correct understandings and the correct movements of God in this season. But God, let not my eyes be seduced by the spirit of covetousness or my mind by the pride of life, but make my feet as hinds feet over my trouble. You are the one and true God who works everything together. Hallelujah. Who works all things for, for the good of those who love you for your most excellent harmonies. Cause my will to work in perfect harmony with yours. I speak peace now into my life. I speak peace now into my relationships. I speak peace now into my ministry. I speak peace now into my workplace, into my business. Anything that was misaligned has now come into divine alignment. I'm gaining new territories. Hallelujah. I'm commanding mountains to be removed now and to be cast into the sea. I'm gaining new emotional territories now. Hallelujah. It feels good to be emotionally sound and stable. God, I bless you and I thank you. I'm gaining new intellectual territories now. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for your wisdom. Hallelujah. For the light in Jesus name. I'm gaining new business territories. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for favor mercy and grace and forgiveness on my life. Even now, as we speak, my business is booming in Jesus name. God, I thank you even for new spiritual territories. Hallelujah. God, you've come to set the captive free. <laughs> Woo. And who the sun sets free. Mm. It's truly free indeed. I even have new ministerial territories. God, I thank you that you have strategically positioned me right here where I am. Everything I've gone through. Hallelujah. You've worked it together for my good. God, I thank you for my testimony. Even my financial territory. Hallelujah. God, I thank you that I'm a kingdom millionaire. I, I don't just make millions, but I give millions away too. Hallelujah. God, I just wait. I'm waiting so patiently to see your finished product. The day that I will be transformed into the image of your dear son. My greatest heart's desire is to be like Jesus Christ. I seal these declarations now in the name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask for or imagine or think because of the power and work on the inside of us. To him who was able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. Hallelujah. His glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To sustain our bodies, our soul and our spirits. To the almighty God. To the King eternal. Woo. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To the only wise and true God. Be glory. Be honor. Forever. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Woo! In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Woo! Yes. Now this is the conclusion. Let's wrap this day up. Day 18 of 40. What have you put into the atmosphere? Thank you, Lord. We're being accountable today. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. So the essence of a new day. This is the beginning of a new day. So you have been given this day to use as you will. OK, so you can waste today or you can use today for good. But what you do with today, it is important because like you're exchanging a day of your life for today. So when tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever. But in its place is something you have left behind. Let that something be good. And that is the conclusion of in the back of the book. And the author is unknown. Powerful broadcast tonight, right? What have you put in the atmosphere? Hallelujah. Agree with God's word and start speaking that and your situation will change. Hallelujah. 
Well, welcome everyone. I want to thank you all for joining us. I know we're out of time. I want to show you this 21 day challenge what you're going to have to do what it looks like. So all you're going to do is upload a video starting tomorrow that tomorrow starts 21 days before this book club will be ending. So I figure since we're coming on anyway, we might as well add some a bonus into showing up for the next 21 days. So we have more of a purpose. We're accelerating our growth and development now. So we are, um, you know, um, just living on purpose. So this is what we're going to do. Put your hand in front of your mouth and you want to be able to feel the uh, the air come, you know, on your fingertips. It's like a vibration. And now you're going to repeat. I am blessed. All my needs are met and I have more than enough for myself, my household and extra left over to give others. And that's it. It's done in Jesus name. So thank you all again for joining us. Come back tomorrow at 830 Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be talking about tomorrow and bring somebody back with you. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about we're going to be further into uh, chapter four. And we're going to be talking about words worth agreeing with. So we're going to find out more about our words and how to come into agreement with what God has said about you, about how you are filling your atmosphere. So you want to come back tomorrow to find more out about words worth agreeing with because your words have power. I am Vernitra Thomas, better known as Tweet. I'm a prayer warrior, kingdom business builder. Y'all, I'm just about my father's business. If you would like to connect with us further, you've got a prayer request or uh, you want to partner with us. Uh, or you want to sow a seed into Next Level Faith Cult, or you want to sow a seed into me, uh, email us at nextlevelfaithcall at gmail.com. Again, next, N-E-X-T, level, L-E-V-E-L, faith, F-A-I-T-H, call, C-A-L-L, at gmail.com. And for those who are interested in our special offer, it is here on our website on Facebook. If you're looking at this video on um, YouTube, stroll all the way down to the end um, in the description box and you'll find our offer there. But thank you all for your support. Thank you for those who are catching the replay. Yes. Thank you for those who are sharing this broadcast. And thank you for you who was here live tonight. I love you so much. Thank you. God bless you in Jesus name. And I'll see you tomorrow on day 19, 20 more days, 21 more days left tomorrow. Good night. Peace.